हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत राधार शिवाषादि गौर भक्तमिंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोपनाथ शाम खुंड राधा खुंड गिरगोवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय स्वामी तो भक्तमिंद की जय और ग्लोरी से जय present our spiritual master. Om Agyana Timirana Shagyana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshun Militaan Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nava श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित जीन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदाम ददा शबदांतक गॉड इज द सुप्रीम बीइंग फुल विथ सिक्स काइंड्स ऑफ ऑपुलेंसेस देयर फॉर ही एट्रैक्ट्स एवरीवन दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड कृष्ण this bhagavad gita is spoken by krishna the perfect person we receive knowledge from the perfect person when we receive knowledge from imperfect person the knowledge is not complete with same water in the summer season will be very pleasing So the water is the same, but due to uh, seasonal changes, sometimes the water is very pleasing and sometimes it is very painful. So this material world, so long we shall remain in the material world. The pains and pleasure, on account of this material body, we have to feel. Uh, but if we come to the spiritual platform. that is understanding of the soul then in any condition we shall be happy that is stated in the bhagavad gita brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kankhati samas sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti labhati para <coughs> brahma bhuta means self realized that i am not this part this is the first realization self realization this krishna consciousness movement is educational movement it is not a uh, religious sentiment it is a science and we have got our books also you have seen there is demonstration of the book we have got already 20 books of 400 pages each and we are going on writing more books the everything will be finished in 80 books so if you want to know through science and philosophy we have got our books you can read and even if you read the uh, complete set it will take your whole life to finish it but if you if you cannot read or if you do not wait, want to Now if the intelligentsia of Australia cannot sit for half an hour and listen to a gentleman speak about love of God it does not speak very well for you 
We are simply not asking for disturbance. We are not asking for violence, but we'll meet violence with violence. We are not artificially pacifists. We are asking you to listen like gentlemen. We have come here in goodwill. We have come here not to cause any disturbance. So we ask you please to have that much respect for our spiritual master. Now at this time, if there is any questions about Krishna consciousness philosophy, not about fighting, we can go out in the street and fight and we can solve everything out there. We have come here to speak about spiritual matters. If we want to speak about spiritual matters, well, let's speak together, like brothers and sisters. Let's not cause disturbance. I have a, an ego, you have an ego. If you do something to flick off my ego, I may get mad. If I do something to flick off your ego, you get mad. So we'll go out into the street and set it like a cat and a dog? No. We're not here in this university to act like that. We're supposed to have raised above that platform. So please, we ask you to uh, present uh, sober questions to our spiritual master. Yes, sir? The question was, this man is a follower of Lord Jesus Christ, and he would like to know what our opinion is of Jesus Christ. We respect Jesus Christ as you do, because he is representative of God, son of God, and we are also speaking of God. So we respect him with our greatest veneration. No, I am not Jesus. I am servant of Jesus. You are son of Jesus. I am servant of Jesus. I don't say I am Jesus. No, I have no power of Jesus. Well, also the power of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You are Christian, we are Christian. Practically the same thing. <laughs> and one other question. Yes. I believe Jesus is coming back next week. And what are you guys going to do when you see Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is going to come back you know again. Well, he is coming, welcome. He shall welcome. <laughs> yes. It's very good news that Jesus is coming. <laughs> Jesus had no reputation. He wore sandals. And he was crucified between two feet. And he carried brick knife. And your, <laughs> and your spirituality is on a in a Rolls Royce on a padded seat and all the and you're all in the money, you Christians. You want money, you rip off people in the streets. Don't rip me down. I don't want money. And you said and you said violence with violence. And you said violence with violence, if that's what you believe. Jesus turned the other cheek. And he's picked his followers to. There are many ways to handle a problem. Yeah, but the simple thing, Christianity is simple. Lord Buddha also taught how to handle a problem. And Lord Jesus Christ also taught a way to handle Could we, could we, yeah. We had three questions. Maybe there's somebody else who have a question. <laughs> One question. Do you think you people can attain perfection? Through, through serving God, we can. Well, I say you can't. You can never make it. And only by the blood of Jesus can we say. <laughs> Now, can, you, can you all attain perfection? Can you really say you haven't seen it? You never will see Another question? Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you consider your movements the major form of enlightenment emanating from the United States today? <laughs> what, your movement, what, what order of priority has your movement in the White House Psychological Warfare Department the CIA. <laughs> and, and will also, will you also be coming along to our July 4 demonstration again this year to try and fuck it up and divert people away from taking up real political issues concerned with Australian right, environment? we can answer one, one at a time. I can answer them for you, do I? Uh, our movement is not coming from the United States. If you have, if you have, if you have some paranoiac uh, uh, stigma about uh, everything coming from the United States, well, that's your hang-up, not mine. Uh, second of all, uh, our spiritual master, uh, he came to the United States to start this Krishna consciousness movement uh, because he got a because he got a free if he got a free ticket on a boat to go there. And because it was the mercy of this one lady who gave him the free ticket on the boat, he came to America on the orders of his spiritual master. 
Uh, this is the reason he came to America to start Christian consciousness. If you had sent him a free ticket, he probably would have come to Australia first. Uh, he was a monk, he was a monk, a penniless monk in, in, in India, and he was trying to follow the orders of his spiritual teacher by spreading love of God. He's not trying to stop any kind of a political movement. Actually, he is trying to spark a revolution in consciousness. I think that uh, you are also interested in revolution. We are also interested in revolution also, but we are interested in the revolution which will help people to feel peace with themselves whether they're communist or Marxist or Leninist or whatever is you, you like, we're trying to help people feel happy, whether they're in the city or whether they're in the country or whether they're under uh, any... This is what we're trying to do. So we are also revolutionaries. Uh, we are also revolutionaries. And actually, we request you to cooperate with this Krishna consciousness movement so actually we can change the consciousness of the world not just change from one political system to another political system. That's been going on for a time immemorial, and we see there's no solution. Because people are changing their politics, they're not changing their consciousness. They're not changing their consciousness. They're not changing themselves inside. They just change their ism, from communism to capitalism, and from capitalism back to something elseism. We're asking people to try to get a little bit beyond that superficial political system and, and find out which actually motivates each and every one of us. That is uh, God's consciousness, the love of God. That love of God is much more powerful than any temporary political system. It would have been the joy. Hey, listen, if you're that bloody good boy, you can get up my mic. Yeah. Hey! Come on again, Lord. Hey, stop it, man. Arrivo!